200 millilitres of whole milk, 4 fresh eggs, 140 grams of plain flour. Okay, today I'm going to make for you a very simple and a classic dish, a classic English dish, a Yorkshire pudding. And it is just so easy, you'll never need to buy one of those frozen types ever again. Right, here we go. First together, we'll put together the ingredients. Um, I've got it all ready. Anyway, bear with me. First of all, we start our, our um, mix with 140 grams of plain flour, into which we have four medium sized eggs, not particularly large. In they go. One, two, three, and four. Bring this together. And as it starts to uh, gradually, gradually mix in, we slowly add our milk. I prefer to hand whisk this rather than use a mechanical device, which obviously is, obviously is much too fast. There we go. Always looks very lumpy at first, but it soon goes in. Very lumpy. Keep working at it. Okay, stay now. It will end up eventually the consistency of a, a sort of a single cream, a runny cream. And there we have it. Nearly ready. Season to taste. And then we want to leave this for at least half an hour, longer if possible. Um, it lets the flour um, just infuse itself and, and get ready for the cooking process. So we'll leave it for now and come back. As you can see, I've transferred my, my Yorkshire pudding mix into a smaller, smaller jug, just for, for ease really. It's, it's easy to pour it into the tin. I'm going to put um, some oil in the tin, not too much, just a bit. Normal sunflower oil would do the trick. Right, here we go. I've preheated the oven to gas mark um, I'm going to heat the oil first. So, put that in there to get nice and hot, and then we'll um, add the mix. Okay, the, uh, the oil's been in there for quite a while now. So, it should be plenty hot enough. Very, very carefully take this out of the oven. And pour a small amount in each container, like that, like that. Plenty left over for another batch. I do these, and then I do another batch after. Oh, everything's still, still hot. Look. Right, there we go. Back in the oven. Don't forget, gas mark eight, nice and hot. And we put those back in there. Shut the door and set the timer for um, twenty minutes. Well, there you have it, all finished. I've got three batches out of that mix, which I think is pretty good, really. I'm gonna freeze these because we're not having a roast dinner tonight, but we will have a roast dinner, normally on a Sunday. Beef, carrots, vegetable, lovely. Um, but I'm a bit tempted to try one now. Mmm, so crunchy. Freezes easily up to a month. Bring them out when we cook a roast dinner, pop them in the oven, crack 
crisp them back up again from frozen, and they'll be fine. Well, that's it. Bye.